Hello, everybody. And a very warm welcome to LNT YouTube channel. Prince William and Prince Harry stand vigil together beside their grandmother Queen Elizabeth's coffin on Saturday. The pair is set to lead Her Majesty's eight grandchildren in the somber tradition at the monarch's lying in stage at Westminster Hall. A palace source told LMT Channel. The Prince of Wales will stand at the head, the Duke of Sussex at the foot. At the King's request, they will both be in uniform. The other grandchildren will be in morning coat and dark formal dress with decorations. During the 15-minute observance, the Prince of Wales will be flanked by Princess Anne's children, Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips, while the Duke of Sussex will be flanked by Prince Andrew's daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, Prince Edward's children. Lady Louise and Viscount Severn will be at the middle of the casket. The eight grandchildren will pay respects to the Queen by standing in silence beside Her Majesty's coffin, in a scene which will mirror the vigil of the princes. Insider said, the grandchildren at the king's invitation are very keen to pay their respects, just as their parents are doing the evening before. Earlier this week, it was announced that Prince Harry who served for 10 years in the British Army would not be in his military uniform during the mourning period, as he is no longer a working member of the royal family. But the role has been temporarily changed by his father King Charles III, who is now allowing the Duke to wear the traditional attire for the vigil and the Queen's funeral on Monday. Receding Royal Rift I want also to express my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas. We have some pictures of some of the people who paid their respects to the Queen.
And despite reported tension between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and to the royal family, DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston told LMT Channel that the Queen was believed to want them to reconcile. The Queen was really the one who fought to keep the door to the Sussexes open. Now, we do know that King Charles III has plans for a much more slimmed down monarchy. He wants to cut back costs. He really wants to modernize the royal family as far as the official aspect of the monarchy is concerned. And he has shown very little patience for members of the royal family who don't toe the line. He was the one who very much pushed to have his brother, Prince Andrew, sidelined after he was embroiled in the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. And I have no doubt that Charles will take the exact same route when it comes to Harry and Meghan. Now, with regards to familial relations behind the scenes, I think the Queen's hope, and indeed right up until her dying day, it was her desire to see Harry and William mend that rift. Whether they will be able to do so without her presence remains to be seen, but I do think it would be an incredible tragedy if her passing didn't do at least something to help them mend that bridge that has been broken now for so long. Quick disclaimer, everything in this video and all of my videos are my opinion based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. Holding hands is always a wholesome expression of love, right? Unless you're a member of the royal family, where it can be highly controversial. A body language expert explained to us what it all really means. It was adorned with medals, but Prince Harry wore an otherwise standard suit during the September 14, 2022, memorial service for Queen Elizabeth the second at Westminster Hall. It was a reminder that he has departed the royal family in an official capacity. Because he is no longer a working royal, Harry has been told that he is not allowed to attend events in his military uniform. For certain events moving forward, working royals are going to wear a military uniform, mm. and so that obviously excludes Prince Andrew and it excludes Prince Harry. For many, Harry's body language served as another reminder of just how much his life has changed since he left the regimented life of a working royal behind. As he and his wife, Suits star Meghan Markle, exited Westminster Hall, they held hands. Some social media users were outraged by this show of affection. One critic tweeted, Harry and Meghan holding hands while exiting Westminster Hall is one of the most disrespectful things I ever witnessed. Another wrote, Unsurprising as they never fail to disrespect the protocol and the Queen. Even with those complaints, royal etiquette expert Micah Meyer told people that members of the royal family aren't actually forbidden from holding hands in public. And the Daily Mail pointed out that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex weren't the only royals who walked hand in hand at the event. Zara Tyndall, the Queen's eldest granddaughter, and her husband Mike, did as well. Protocol aside, some of the Sussex's critics also took issue with the way Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were holding hands. One tweeted, She's got her thumb over his, so you know who's in charge. But Nicole Moore, a body language expert and host of Reality of Love on Bespoke TV, told LMT Channel that Meghan's body language is actually an indication that she's serving as a stabilizing force for her husband. She explained, Prince Harry likely truly needs Meghan there to support him, pull him forward and help him get through this difficult time. One of Meghan and Harry's supporters pointed out on Twitter that Queen Elizabeth's funeral procession took place the day before Harry's birthday. So instead of preparing to celebrate in comfort, Harry found himself mourning his grandmother while being subjected to a high level of public scrutiny. By holding her husband's hand, Meghan was doing what she could to provide him with a small amount of comfort during a time of great emotional turmoil. Moore further explained, Their move to hold hands signifies that they put their personal relationship with each other above what anyone else thinks, even when doing so will incur backlash. The move can be summed up in one sentence, Our love matters most, above all and we're going to show it to each other no matter how inappropriate that looks to certain people. At the end of the day, they're humans. And if somebody needed some comforting, that's, they know what they were doing. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were seen holding hands quite often years before their royal exit. Harry's brother, Prince William, and his wife, Kate Middleton, hadn't been spotted engaging in the same shows of affection. The Daily Mail observed that William and Kate avoided physical contact at the Westminster Hall service. 
Their lack of public displays of affection could be explained as feeling an obligation to appear more professional, seeing as how Prince William is next in line to be king. Still, Harry was also once a high-ranking member of the royal family. So why has he always seemingly been comfortable holding hands with his wife? According to Moore, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's affinity for walking hand-in-hand -hand says a lot about how they feel about each other. She said, Holding hands in body language is often an indicator of a close emotional bond, a desire for comfort and a desire for emotional connection. They hold hands as closely as possible with hands tightly interlocked, indicating a very strong emotional bond. The gesture also serves as a way for the couple to put up a united front, and they may need each other's support now more than ever as they continue to be subjected to vitriol from critics who get angry over seemingly every small movement. Stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.